It is a brand new session of Poker Time. There's Timmer. He played briefly in our last session. There's Wonka. Everybody knows him. He's got a wolf in a business suit. That's important. Very, very important. Uh, Ken with Ace-9 suited, starting us off here in this 510 cash game. You all know Ken. There's Band Teacher. He played in one session previously. Yeah, maybe even a few others way, it's been, way back in the It's day. been years. Yeah. Well, this is a new player, Rafi. Oh, yeah, I gotta put my hoodie up. He's actually one of the best Scrabble players in the country. Yeah, the like seventh-ranked Scrabble player in America. Literally the seventh-ranked player. He's been ranked as high as four in his life. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. He knows all the words. I would think I would do... I think he'd beat me like in a crossword puzzle match. I don't know about Ken calling here, by the way. Yeah. The open is, plus one, Rafi three bet. It seems like a bit ambitious, but there's does. a good flop for Ken, and it makes him the most likely to win the hand, I think. And it wasn't Rafi who three bet. I'm sorry, it was Band Teacher. Mm. Yeah, and we're all caught up in talking about Rafi Scrabble playing. And, and there's the, there's nuts. the nuts for Ken well, with the redraw. Yeah. He has the nuts he, because he blocks he the actual nuts. And I don't see Band Teacher continuing here. Oh, yeah. Can you win the first one? A little music from Band Teacher there. <laughs> Gotta love we it. We can all appreciate that. That's He's cool. a Band Teacher for real. It's like Ken showed the hand. That's legit. Wow, Bandy, thank you. I would have flopped two pair. That would have been bad. <laughs> Shit. There's still a red. right. <laughs> that been bad. Thank you, three bad. Well, Ken does win the hand, but... Ambitious call pre-flop. Yeah, it, it, although it worked out. You also see that he was unable to uh, extract any Small money post-flop. even with. Although he would have had Ben Teacher <laughs> had an overpair. That's true. That's true. But, you know, that's not a great plan. Like, I, mean, I hope he, he has an overpair. <laughs> he would have if he had flopped top two also, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Band Teacher makes an ace. There, there's ways that Band Teacher makes Broadway, but but mostly. Yeah. Anyway, here's Wheel with the uh, suited connector. The beautiful suited connector. That's, that's my job. drinking game. That's the poker guy's drinking that's game. That's my job, though. That's true. It's a splendid suited connector. It's beauty belies the heart of man. You know what I'm saying? Nope. <laughs> Do you know what you're saying? I guess you haven't read enough 17th century romance Sonnets. letters. <laughs> yeah. Romance letters sent between lovers in a tryst. Here's an interesting little uh, three-way pot we got Foreman here. And this is a horrible flop for Timmer's hand. He does have a gut shot, but, you know, this is not what he was hoping for. Yeah. Wheel's going to continue. He does have a bunch of big hands in his range here, which is yeah. not insane to continue. Digital Dan, I think, has a... Uncomfortable, but very straightforward call. Yeah, another bet might give him some pause, though, if Wheel keeps going. Agreed. I think if Wheel picks up a diamond, he should keep going, by the way. Yep. I think if he doesn't, maybe he should shut it down. Yep. Sometimes you can shut it down. I think that's exactly right. He's supposed to shut it down if he doesn't pick up a diamond. He does this, not. This is a really good card for him not to continue. Yeah, on. Dan has queens in his range that Wheel doesn't have as much of. Wheel would only uh, continue here with maybe King-10, Jack-Queen, Ace-Queen. King Full queen. Houses, basically. Maybe yeah. sometimes he has king yeah, yeah. queen. Yeah, sure. Trip, 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 queen. Maybe. Bad run out for wheel to try to rep anything. Wheel could have a jack, I guess. Since Dan checked it back. Would wheel bet a jack, knowing wheel? Now, Dan, I think, should just have a very easy check back here. Yes. I don't how see he how he could anything. ever get value from anything. He could try to bluff wheel off a chop, I guess. That he, could, he's, he could try and get value from king high or pocket kings. That is... He's betting. I think this is to get wheel off a chop. Hmm. He only loses it, to ace it king. It actually, it, yeah, yeah. The wheel, right. the wheel would play this way. He only loses to ace king. Right. So I think it's kind of an interesting play. It might be correct. Yeah, I assume ace king is calling uh, in the river, but I don't know if a chop is, so that's interesting. Dan looks so happy right now. When you think you got away with something, you know, you feel good. I assume that's what happened. Uh, Dan is competent enough to know that he can't get value from Orr's hand there. So I, I think he was definitely trying to bluff him off a chop. Maybe he was trying to get value from Kings. That seems ridiculous. Seems crazy, I agree. Uh, Kings isn't calling, you know. It's I mean, the flush draw missed. Kings is never calling. See, when you say things like that, you know that and in your heart, you know that that's just not true. It's right? not true, but there's aces for Wonka, yeah. and I know that's true. That is fair enough. Three bet incoming, ladies and germs. Oh, God, don't say ladies and germs. I didn't. Okay, good. You said it. <laughs> Joseph should probably fold this hand. 
Yeah, I think he should. Wonka's not really deep enough. Maybe if Wonka had the same stack that Joseph has, mm -hmm. it would be more reasonable to call. Out of position. Already been three bet in this inflated pot. Wonka is not the guy you can usually pick up uh, free chips from. He's not going to make big mistakes post-flop. I think this is a pretty easy fold. Joseph does not look like he agrees. And he oh, puts he's the four betting. I actually like this better yeah. than a call. Me Wonka too. is apt to three bet in these positions a lot more than a lot of the other players. Joseph is aware of that. This hand can play well post-flop if he does get called. As it stands, he might get five bet. Yeah, this is sort of the nightmare as it turns out where Wonka has the one hand he can five bet without really thinking about it. And if he chooses not to, which looks like he chooses not to, it's only because he's trapping. I kind of like it with the stack to pot yeah. ratio he's going to be left with. He can jam on a lot of flops if Joseph C bets. He can just call on certain flops and hope Joseph continues on turns. But Wonka can basically never fold except on the worst of all boards. This is not that. This is a great board because Joseph could have some kings in his range here. Will Joseph continue or will he give up? Wonka Seems like a queens. Wonka can have jack. This is a very clear continuation board in my mind for Joseph. He has pocket aces. He has pocket kings. He has ace king all in his range. The problem is, so does Wonka. True, but I mean, if you make this play preflop with nine seven, and you get this super dry king high flop. Yeah. I feel like you. And I like the sizing, by the way, two forty. Also, he does have at least have backdoor diamonds. He can continue the turn with the diamond on a diamond. He, wants. he can even continue the turn on non-diamonds because yeah. Wonka's going to be obligated to call this size with 10s plus here. That's true. Honestly, Wonka's not going to be loving it with ace-king, not on the flop, but if, if Joseph were to continue strong on the turn, essentially moving Wonka in. But Wonka would not fold ace-king, I, I don't agree. think. No, no, Wonka's very much going to use distribution to uh, make the call. Anyway, Wonka, of course, has a super easy call here. He's aware he's losing now to pocket kings, yeah, but that's just, about it. Just hoping that's not the case here. Yeah. But what are you going to do? That was always happening. Now there's another. That's kind of a bad card for Joseph. To. You're hoping to see no 10 jack or queen because those are the hands that you could maybe get Wonka off on the turn. 10s, jacks, and queens. Mm -hmm. That completes one of those as a set. And Joseph does give up. I like that. I think it's absolutely time just to wave the white flag. Now, what, is, what do you think Wonka should do? Well, with 905 and 1.2K in the pot, it's reasonable to check here and try and get it on the river. Um, it's also reasonable to bet small. Keep Joseph's jacks and queens alive, even his ace king, um, putting money in now, and then they're just gonna feel like the pot's so big on the river, and it's such a small bet. Wonka does check back. I kind of like that. The Here's queen another is another card nobody likes. A little bit of Wonka. a bad card. But Joseph's now sitting there, like, now how do I get Wonka? Like, if Wonka had queens, can't get him off. He can it. get him to fold jacks, but nothing else basically. Yeah. Joseph's not even trying. He's done. I don't think Wonka can give value from too much here. Joseph maybe plays ace-king like this once in a blue moon, but it seems rare. Maybe ace-queen would consider calling. Maybe I, th I think Joseph can have ace-king. Wonka, of course, blocks that, but Joseph can have ace-king here. And ace-queen, I think. Yep, when it goes check-check. Thing is, is ace-king's ace calling. Is ace-queen calling? Well, you gotta, you gotta try, I think, when Joseph checks again. Yeah. I mean, like, Joseph doesn't have a ton of sets when he checks again. Agreed. Maybe Joseph. he has the tiniest bit of ace jack. Joseph is tricky. You wouldn't think he'd have too much of that, though, as you said. I think it's. I think Wonka's supposed to go for value, but you can see he's really thinking about this. This is a weird spot. I expect he's going to shove. Yep, and there it is. Some early action, and Joseph's going to pretend he has a decision for a second. So Joseph's now sort of repping ace queen <laughs> with this uh, or jacks. He didn't take too long. No, okay. So jacks. <laughs> You're taking a little. He might have just queen. been taking some time to. Tr oh, Wonk actually used up a time card yeah. in his river tank. This is a timed game, meaning you have 30 seconds to act. Over the course of our four-hour session, that'll come over four episodes. The players get four time cards to use, and Wonka's down one already. Could hurt him in the future. It's possible. You know, that it's a big spot, though, where he wants to decide, should he be shoving that $900 or not? And I think yeah. it's wise to take his time there. So it would be Rafi? Rafi. No disincentive to yeah, tanking forever with uh, the nuts. I mean, different meta game there. True. It'd be a strategy to make it back. Rafi with two nines. He literally knows every word in the Scrabble dictionary. But if it's not in the Scrabble dictionary, he doesn't know it. He doesn't know how to spell it, even if it's not in the Scrabble Dictionary. Problem is, there aren't very many words that are not in the Scrabble yeah. Dictionary. Yeah. <laughs> oh 
Timber looking for a four here, not getting it. Rafi with a relatively good flop. You could either continue or not. Yep. You couldn't fold if you checked and Timmer bet, of course. No. I think I like to continue here, though. I'm going to get value from some worse hands, uh, some some draws, even some made hands that are clearly worse. Sevens, fives, sixes, eights, maybe fours once in a while. Fours the least likely. As we see, fours didn't even consider it. And yeah. It seems like Timmer was just set mining there, which yep. is fine. Did you just yell at Goofy? Yep. No, I didn't yell at him. <laughs> it's like Wheels drinking. Have we seen Wheel drunk before? Not on camera. <laughs> have, but, you, uh, have you seen him drunk off camera? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> no, I have not. I have not. Wheel drunk. I don't know. That's nightmare fuel right there. Yeah, wheel sober is scary enough. <laughs> Digital Dan. Oh, very pretty. Jack 10 suited. <laughs> Drink, everybody. <laughs> Taking my thing. Yeah, I'll stop. It's yours. Wonka could three bet or call here. Either is fine. I would expect him mostly to call against uh, the digital ones relatively early open. Calling is pretty standard, but yeah, you know, it's an eight handed game. It's not crazy to three bet. Yeah. All right, here we are four ways. Bandy calling with the king eight off in the small blind. Bandy, Yeesh. of course, being band teacher. Yes. Yeah. And, and Bandy making it happen. That's why you do it. Dan has the only hand that might be willing to give him a little bit of money. Yeah. Digital Dan up here. It's a check or bet spot. It's kind of a wet-ish board. You hate to give a free card to everyone. You do have a lot of cards in the turn that improve you. you any There's a lot of straightening cards, and any hard is good. Yep. Obviously, a 10 or a jack is also good. Sure. Although, a jack would be a nightmare. I think I think a bet here is pretty good with the plan of checking back most turns, especially once Wonka folds. Ban teacher looks like he's putting in the raise right away. Yeah. I think I see a black chip there. I like it. Can't, can't let wheel in for free. And, and this is a weird spot for Dan. There are a ton of draws out there. He blocks some of them with the jack, but he blocks no diamonds. I think it's a pretty clear clear call for Dan, actually. Call and reevaluate and hope, yeah. hope to improve equity-wise, get a nine of hearts or something miracle like that. I think you're looking for a heart or a queen or a ten or a jack on the turn if, if Ban Teacher actually bets the turn. But I think you kind of have to call here against... A player like Bandy, who will raise the flop without having it, and will raise the straws and things like that. In position specifically. So now this is a this card makes that it is the brickiest of bricks. And if Ben Teacher continues here, I think you can comfortably fold this Dan and just say, okay, sometimes he bluffed me with a draw. Right. Like he's Ben Teacher is going to give up sometimes. He's actually not always going to give up. Having said that, but that said, Dan keep bluffing. Dan doesn't block it. Block kings. He doesn't block right. any sort of sets except for the tens. He does block Queen Jack, which he doesn't really want to be blocking. He blocks Jack Nine, which he doesn't want to be blocking. And of course, the other problem with this is a 375 bet. If Dan were to call, there's a threat of a big bet on the river. And as we see on a brick, Ben Teacher's going to make a big bet on the river. Yeah. Ben Teacher's probably sitting there believing that Dan has King Queen or Ace King hand like yeah. that and just hoping not to see any paint of any type. Of course, the 10 would be a nightmare as well. Diamond wouldn't look good either. That's a relatively wet card. It does complete the straight for Queen Jack. I think it's vintage. You just have to bet anyway here. Yeah, it's kind of a bet fold spot, though. Although he has a pot size bet left. Should he go for just all in and hope Dan heroes with Ace King? Looks like he's going smaller. I don't smaller. hate that, but he's trying he's to go going smaller. Make sure he gets some value. 550. All right, so what can Dan beat here? He can beat. He beats the diamonds. Beat diamonds that is not eight nine of diamonds. Yep. He beats and that is not queen jack of diamonds. Ace queen and ace jack that decided to take this line. Unlikely. Jack nine. He beats jack nine. Beats jack nine. He blocks jack nine though, as so, you said. And sometimes Van Teacher's gonna check jack nine when he when he makes a pair on the river. It he had, would know jack nine is not good, really. He, well, there are a lot of draws that missed, and so it's possible Dan the digital one could have a draw. Although he bet a, he bet kind of big on the turn. Like if Digital Dan had ace queen of diamonds and decided not to raise the flop. I think he probably raises the flop and just I think goes sometimes, for it. but I don't think he always does. That said. I think this is probably a fold here. Yeah, I think I think Dan probably by calling the turn has put himself in this weird spot, which could have been avoided. Now if the nine of hearts came on the turn, I could see Dan calling down. Because he's going to be forced to call the turn, and now it's sometimes you can you have to call the river as a bluff catch, 
but the turn didn't help him at all. And then he was just going to be bluff catching the whole way. You need to have a pretty loosey-goosey type uh, player. And while Bandy can be loosey, he's not always goosey. Oh, he does call. There's wow. the call. That's going to hurt. Yep. <coughs> I would have think, thought more a set of eights than king eight if I were Dan. And I would be, you know, when you, when you lose a big pot, you get a little hot under the collar sometimes. And you're like, why is this guy calling with king eight off yeah, in the small sure. blind? But, you know. That was also an avoidable spot. It was. Definitely avoidable. There are other um, hands Ban Teacher could have had there. They played like that for value. The King 10 really looms large, even though yeah. Dan had a 10 in his hand. Uh, for sure. As we were saying, Queen Jack gets there, which isn't great either from Dan's yep. point of view. 8-9 of diamonds, as I mentioned earlier. Yeah. That's the heart of poker, right? Like trying to decide, like, just do I put the chips in or not, man? Does he have it this time or not? It sucks. <laughs> it sucks being wrong. It does. Anyway, it's great to be right. It sucks being wrong. Wonka with a relatively loose open here. Hmm. Interesting. It is uh, Rafi's big blind, and Wonka often will taunt Rafi and tell him that he is the tightest player in Portland. <laughs> I don't believe that to be the case. But I don't know if it's true or not, but he's going to get called by wheel. Oh, no, he's going to get raised by wheel. It's going to make Rafi go bye-bye with the ace of six of diamonds. Yeah, spell fold for me, Rafi. Nice. How many points is fold? No triple word score. And Wonka folds as well. I can see there's going to be a rash of bad Scrabble jokes when Rafi plays. I think that is the case. I'm concerned for everyone. I am too. I think it's going to be really bad. I also, personally, and this is no insult to people who like it, I just don't enjoy the game of Scrabble very much. I don't think it's very fun. It's just my thought. Hmm. How about you? Where do you stand on that? I'm terrible at it, but I like it. You do? Yeah, but I am bad. I am bad. <laughs> I can't picture, you know, things in my head like that. I can't picture 3D objects in space very well, so... So you're always running into walls and stuff it like is, that? I mean, it's hard to map things out. This is one of the uh, intelligences. Well said. Thanks. I'm act I actually mean that. <laughs> I know you do. Okay. We are going to open the button. With your least favorite hand, but not for this. Opening this makes the all the fine. sense. Joseph defending because... It's a reasonable defend. He likes to defend. That's a reasonable defend. You don't think so? It's okay. <coughs> it's not super reasonable. What a defend for Joseph. I mean, it's not a miracle flop. Did you think he flopped a straight? No. Okay. But he flopped pretty darn well. As yep. James Harding would say, flop better, Joseph. Um, I mean, a pair of straight draws is pretty darn good. It is. Wheel continuing on this board. He does have a gut shot, but it's really Joseph's board. Yeah, but, you know, wheel, of course, opening from uh, the button makes yeah. him a lot wider than normal. True. That is not a good card for... Uh, Wheels range, though, still, compared to Joseph's, as you said. And it's not going to make it more likely for Joseph to fold if wheel no. continues. But wheel is going to continue. and I don't hate this. It's possible it could work. I mean, Joseph does just have bottom pair. I don't know if it's going to work because he has a straight draw as well. I can't imagine Joseph folding. Also, the pot's relatively small, so it's not going to be a very expensive bet. With the straight draw. Without the straight draw, Joseph really Ooh, might Wheel bets I mean, 60 again. That's a mistake. He's trying to charge the draws, I guess? I think Wheel needs to bet more if he's going to continue bluffing And look here. at this. Joseph just immediately pounces on He pounces on, on. He, he probably is putting Wheel on some sort of hand that could be better than Joseph's and might not be, but all, like Wheel's not going to size this way with Nate. So Joseph's like, well, if you have an overpair, I'm going to put you in a tough spot. Exactly. Like, good luck, 210s. Yeah. Now your life is hard. And Joseph's got the kind of hand where... Let's say he's up against an overpair that decides to call. He does have a fair amount of equity, which is nice. You know, he's got 10 And outs. the overpair will fold the river a lot of the time if yeah. Joseph bets if, again. If it even calls here. Yeah. So I like this play from Joseph despite his showdown value. Yeah, I agree. And I think it's all based on wheel sizing. Mm -hmm. Now, wheel might have just lost more if he sized bigger because Joseph might have called and then the river could have gone check, check or something like that. But wheel at least gives himself a chance to win the yeah. pot by betting bigger there. Yeah. Also, Wheel had reasonable equity against Joseph. Not great equity, but reasonable. He had yeah. seven outs. Not crazy to check back there, or yeah. if you bet bet more like, you know, 180. Yeah, like you charge the draws for real and try and fold out a five and a six, or you just check and you can bluff catch if you want and hope to improve. How about folding out a seven? That's good, too. Yeah, that's great. You're right. Wonka with queens. I imagine he's going to play this one, Grant. 
expert analysis. I'm loving that sweatshirt. I gotta tell you, a dog in a suit. Are you kidding? I think it might even be a wolf, man. Oh, it's just a wolf. It's not a wolf man. Look, it has a suit on. It's a wolf man. Anyway, Timur has jacks, so this is problematic. But he's lucky that oh. their positions are under yeah. the gun in plus one, so he can call. And I think that's the right play most of the time. Well, band teacher's got ace king, so I expect we're going to see some more money going in. There's some pretty big hands so far. It's kind of nuts, though. That, is that a three bet? Yes, it is. I think the three bet is the right idea. Wonka sized it up, by the way. Made it 45 under the gun. Mm. Digital Dan is... Does he know it's on him? Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> he has no idea. Uh, he's still shell-shocked from that king eight hand, I guess. Okay, now Wonka never folding. Band teacher and Wonka are a bit too deep to get it in right. here. He probably would get it in against Timmer's stack. I would think so. I think if Timmer three bet him, Wonka would be four betting a lot. But here, it probably plays better as a call. He's aware he's letting Timmer in a lot of the time with a call here. But I think the bigger problem is band teacher's range. You gotta play a little carefully against that. Especially when Wonka's opening under the gun. Raise, make it 5'10 total. Raise 5'10? He is not intimidated by Band Teacher's range. It's possible that he has played enough with Band Teacher and knows that Band Teacher is a more frequent three better. Little smile. All right, let's play one. Well, he's got to like it that Band Teacher started talking to him right away, saying things like. I mean, Band Teacher is a tricky type of guy, though. He could have aces and be making the speech. He could, but he's less likely to. Right? Yeah. He'd probably at least consider putting in a five bet right now. Yeah, I wouldn't Wonka four bets under the gun. Yeah. And that's a bad flop for Wonka. He does have a gut shot, but of course you didn't want to see that king. Nope. Also, honestly, the tens and the nines aren't great either. No, they are not. Bandit should bet right now, I think. Bandit should checks it back because he doesn't want to give a he doesn't want to lose Ooh. his customer, but customer and loss. And Timmer has got it. Like, had a little reaction. It looks like to making I mean, a set. I it, mean, it's a four straight. Of so. course it is. But did you notice he <laughs> moved his head a little there? Well, he's lucky to not be in the hand. Well, maybe that board's gonna pair. I don't know. Wonka, Wonka checks, checks again. I kind of like it. Bandit should can't bet now. The only queens Wonka has in his range are two queens usually here. Yeah, he's unlikely to be turning. Ace queen into a uh, four bet pre. The heart is not the best card in the world. It's but not super scary. Someone's usually going to bet the flush draw somewhere along. Yeah, the way. if Ben Teacher had hearts, he'd probably bet the flop. Ben Teacher does have the ace of hearts, but it's not a good story he can really tell here. Wonka's got to go for value here. I, I think. agree. Hope to get called by a set. I mean, what's Ben Teacher supposed to have something? He called the the four bet. The board should be. Yeah. I think that one too, so, you know, shows the ace of hearts, but unlikely, unlikely to make a move at him now. Aces. I don't have any kings. I don't have any queens. I don't have any jacks. I don't have any tens. I don't have any nines. Yeah, we're going to need some more time after that expires. Oh, Nick. I hate paying you off. I don't, I don't know if I can pay you off here. I don't have any ace queen. What can I be? What are you four betting? It's the same hand, I guess. I could have the same hand. You have Ace King? Well, no shit. Yeah, I have Ace King. I said I couldn't beat Aces, Kings, Queens, Jacks, Tens, or Ace Queen. <laughs> I can't beat King, Queen, Suit either. There's no hand I can't beat. I can only tie you. Five thousand calling four fifty to win five. Ugh. Uh, you got me. Listen, Ooh, good if you got me on a chop, it's a good bet. That's a good fold by Band Teacher. Yeah, and you could hear his thought process there. I think. Uh, 
he probably could have had that thought process a little faster, but just didn't want to let go of the hand after it checked that far. But it certainly makes sense that he's not ahead of any of the hands that Wonka four bets from under the gun. And you can't call just for a chop as yeah. your best case scenario. Right, you just can't. You did good there. Huh? You did good with that lay down. Well, good little lay down? Yeah, yeah good lay down. Well, well, thank you. Just over 14K in the pot. The turn is the four of diamonds. Hey, what is that? Speaking of turn, coming around the mountain, is oh. that the nitrogen sports poker train? I think they did buy a train recently. If you listen, you can hear its very choo. familiar jingle choo. and choo choo. <laughs> Wait, there's the jingle. Nitro, ding, nitro, ding, nitro, ding, ding. nitro, 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 nitro. <laughs> wow, that's the weirdest ad ever all of a sudden. Anyway, Nitrogen Sports Poker Room is, uh, you know, they let us do ads like this. They perhaps do. Perhaps because they don't listen to them. Free reign, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, nitro, ding, nitro, ding, nitro, ding, ding. nitro, 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 nitro. Now I only have two time chippies. Now I only have no, I'll sell you one. T t time. Now instead of... Time. I only have time. They're still talking a little bit about that last hand where Wonka made a straight with queens and Benji ended up folding top top on the river correctly. Yeah, Ben teacher did a great job putting the pieces together in that one. Rafi with a very nice hand, and this has got pretty good squeeze possibility. I know there was the uh, plus one open and all, and it was Ken, but well, it's the tightest player in Portland, and here he comes raising. Yep, according to Wonka, that is. And he does have the best hand. This is going to sometimes get him in trouble, but it's also going to make the hand a lot easier to play overall. Exactly. Like, he loses the hand some really large percentage of the time if he just calls as the fourth person in. Yeah. With people behind him still to act. Yeah. Oh, 165. And teacher calls, and I think that may be... Well, he's a little loose pre-flop anyway, I guess. Did play the king eight as well but this calling is, three pretty, is, is pretty loose. loose wheel now is probably supposed to call i think he is 130 415 in the pot wheel could have decided to fold i think if uh, everyone folded to him but now he's probably supposed to put the money in with that extra cashish in there but he lets it go you were dominated wheel so that's the good news bad news is they canceled mary tyler moore Bandeja checked dark, and Rafi hates this flop. Yep. It's a disaster flop. We would have taken the lead right here. Rafi picks up some uh, straight equity. Bandeja's going to bet, and I think this is going to work. This is just a horrible run out for Rafi. This is a real bad run out. He's got to decide, is Ban Teacher maybe a little tilty from that last hand, or is he just... I think it he did call the three bet. I don't think it matters right now. Like this, this is just too bad of a situation to, to let yourself keep being in. I mean, I don't disagree, but you know the counterpoint to that is you check back the flop, which induces this sometimes. You have a reasonable, you have showdown value, and you have um, you know, a gut shot to the nuts. You just have so many better hands that you can play that way. That is true. Tilt's over. Tilt's over. Got the bluff through. Tilt is over. Hey, you just said good fold. fold. <laughs> oh, I meant you know, thank you. I meant thank, thank you for folding. It's like a balk. Mm hmm. A couple of them. <laughs> I put my hood up when I get caught. Oh, yeah. Can't help. I forgot. No. Ken's turn with fours. Nope. He's just going to fold it under the gun. If they're shallower, if it's a tournament, I understand that. But in a deep stack cash game, that seems a little bit tight. If you think everyone's three betting a lot, which it does. So far, there's been a lot of three bets. That's a reason not to play fours. I guess. Now. I guess. And it turns out he might have gotten three bet by Rafi with the same hand as last time. Yeah. Bad news for Joseph. There's two fewer fo fours than usual in the deck. But there's all the sixes. We think, yeah. All of them. Oh, and Timmer folded a four, too. So sick. Going to need a lot of sixes. Or some spades. Nah, just sixes. Well, another terrible flop for tens. I don't know what you had. It's probably something pretty good. Not quite as bad as the last one, but still pretty bad. This time, Rafi's going to continue. He is just hoping that Joseph is going to go away, obviously. And usually Joseph is. 
I do. That's not even on my sleeve. Maybe I should have bet the flop. Maybe that was my problem. I should have bet the flop. So many options. I don't see Timmer yet to uh, raise pre. A little early for that stat, though. Indeed. We have, we've seen, what, like nine eight, hands? Eight or nine hands, yeah. Probably ten. ten. I guess it's ten, yeah. It's probably ten based on those numbers. <laughs> <laughs> We're we, math we guys. It. We're math guys. We figured it out. Another big hand for Rafi. Three in a row now. Must be nice to be Mr. Scrabble. They give you all the hands. And you get all the ladies. <laughs> so this is probably a super fun fight waiting to happen. <laughs> Gonna see some Timmer action. All sorts of Broadway out there. But none in here. In the flop? Yeah, the flop box. That's where you are? Yeah. Cool. Anyway, nobody even has clubs. Rafi's got the ace of clubs, which probably makes it a little easier to continue here. Rafi's just had three good hands and three bad flops. Yeah. Three bad boards. He's got the uh, classic complaint that you hear all the bad players make all the time. Every time I have a pair, it comes ace, king, queen. Every time I have ace, king, it comes deuce, deuce, four. He was actually ahead on all three boards yeah. um, post-flop. He won two of them. That'd be kind of sweet, wouldn't it? But I think it's going to be a haunted house. One. It's never easy. Flop lag. <laughs> or something. What's the, what's the most... Uh, Letters Everybody that you in a word. <laughs> Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. An actual word. Doesn't it count as a word? I don't think so. It's just a made-up piece can't, of gibberish. You can't play it in Scrabble anyway unless you have a lot of help. Yes, you definitely cannot. Play. Somebody has to play... Ex Sup well, they could play Super. Yeah, That's a good then somebody's start. got to play Super Calif. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe the building behind Mona Center. But... Um, Coliseum? Coliseum. Yeah, well, he usually folds this hand. But he's thinking about it. Wonka's loosening up a little bit this session, it seems. And he puts in the 3-bet with the 8-5 of diamonds. That is not normal Wonka play. From it's kind of fun, though. Time. It's kind of fun. I like Let's it. see how it goes. I like it. Joseph doesn't have a great hand, and he's going to let it go. Wonka dancing between the raindrops. Wonka's got to just be thinking, why don't I do this more? It's so easy. Gotta wear this wolf hoodie more. I just made $50. You never even asked. You can tell you right now. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever? What did you ever? I'll tell you at the end of the day. I'll tell you at the end of the day. I'll tell you at the end of the day. Oh. To me, it felt like cool. Yeah, the only thing like he only said me is I knew was the one. That's true. He just, <laughs> <said> <laughs> he just said everything he couldn't read. There was a hospital up there and they closed it. He went through the list. Nitrogen sports. Nitrogen sports. That's the that's the motto. It's just saying it a little annoying. That's it. You're totally nailing it, so that's good. Nitrogen sports. Nitrogen sports. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow you turned that into gold. I don't know how you did it. Thanks. You did it, though. Wheel with ace queen. Here comes the raise. Pan teacher is not going to be tilty enough to call this, is he? Let's see how much he makes it. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's going to call. I'm not surprised. How much should wheel make it, though? Is this wheel's fault? No, I think he made it like 45. 50, 50 yeah. That this is, is not wheel's this fault. This is band teacher's fault. Yeah. Band teacher is not the kind of band teacher plays wider ranges. You know, this is That's your just fault, band teacher. This and is your fault. Now he's in some trouble. No, okay. no he's not. Well, you're right. <laughs> you thought wheel and ace king. I did. I don't know why. Wheel does have uh, overs and a gut shot to the nuts, though. Band teacher just bet in the dark, and what a miracle card once he bets in the dark. I mean, he would probably take in a blank, but this is even better. And it looks like he's betting in the dark again. Looks like he bet 100 in the dark, and he picked up oh. two pair. <laughs> I don't think Wheel's going to call, but it's kind of a miracle. Band teachers MacGyvering the hell out of these, uh, these wide ranges early on, these weak starting hands, you know? Yeah, you know how you do that? You hit cards. That's one way to do that. Yeah. That's how he's been doing it. I mean, I don't know. He he beat Rafi. And Rafi had two tens, and he had nine of clubs. That's seven true. Of clubs. That's true. 
And he shows the queen. And Bandy shows the jack, and that makes it easy. There's no card Bandy could show there that was going to make it work for him. I think he should never show a card there, but I also think he felt Rule was never going to call, and he felt a little bad. Dark Bandy hit a flush draw, and then Dark Bandy hit two pair. Yeah. That was fun. That was a problem. We're here to have fun. I've never had so much fun. I'll buy it. <laughs> Yucking it up over here. Is it is it sincere? You be the judge. I'm not I'm not feeling the sincerity personally. I kind of aren't either. I kind of am not, I should say either. Uh, Are you multiple people? That'd be <laughs> I kind of aren't multiple people. You're like a, We we kind of aren't multiple you're people. You're like a Hydra. You have multiple heads. Ah, I like that. It's like in that new Godzilla movie, the bad dude, the bad guy. I have not seen that. It's a it's a big thing with multiple heads, and you can cut off a head, and another one grows out. It's cool. Is it a good movie? No. <laughs> <laughs> but the drag, the the monster fights are fun, pretty and fun. But the movie is, you know, the movie's dumb. But it was enjoyable. So you might as well play a Godzilla video game and have a little more fun. I don't know if there are any good Godzilla video games. Hey, it's wheel against no one. There we go. Rafi has flopped a nine. Of instruments, Bandy? Uh, yeah. You, you are definitely. Yes, wheel of free shot is gutter. <laughs> you gotta, I'm a blowhard. 100%. <laughs> well, I think Rafi's just gonna win this one most of the time. Just back there in the back, goofing off. That's 15. Rafi's coming up with a hand that he can get value against. That would be a three. <laughs> yep. I don't think Wheel's gonna call with his gut shot, but I'm wrong. Wheel is. Going to call with this gut shot. At least it's super cheap. Yeah. It's going to be tough to get any extra money out of Rafi, though, unless. But bluffing right here on this card is reasonable. That's a card that Rafi's probably just going to check and yeah. think he's going to win most of the time on. Yeah. Winner chop. He's a, he's a compose, he composed music. I play his music. Will shows the eight. <laughs> <laughs> that was his best card. He doesn't want to be embarrassed and show the four. Right. How embarrassing would that have been to show a four to Rafi? You don't show a four to Rafi. That guy can spell anything. Yeah. I'm going to come up with a word he can't spell. But it's going to be a made up word. No, it's going to be a real word. Okay. And he won't be able to spell it. Let's go. I, I mean, I need time. I need a lot of time for that. Okay. Because it's not like it comes easy to me. I can't even play Scrabble well. I'm not good at Boggle. Leave me alone. Boggle? Yeah, it's a word game. It's a fun word game. Is that where you like hit a little glass case? Sure is. It's not glass, but yeah. Plastic, but yeah. they wish it was glass. But they <laughs> Glass might shatter because it, it gives pretty pretty intensely. But anyway, here's Ken with King 8 of Clubs. The way you said King 8 of Clubs was if you hate King 8 of Clubs. I don't hate King 8 of Clubs. I hate Ken. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I love King 8 of Clubs. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Ken takes it down. Ken, we love you. It's not true. <laughs> Guys, give Ken money. There you go. Good job. They give, that money's for Ken. Yeah. It's, it's damages, emotional damages. Everybody give Ken money. Ken, go ahead and come in the comments and give your PayPal so that the audience <laughs> I mean, can give you some money. That might work, Ken. It's worth a shot. <laughs> Consider doing something like that. Now everyone's staring at his You're cross. consolidating all of Ingram's theories into one, aren't you? I don't know if we've had too many... Poker timers who come in and comment on poker time besides Blake back in the day and Digital Dan does it. Every Digital once in Dan a while. does it too, yeah. I don't know if any. I think Wonka has in his life, but it hasn't happened much. Ken Ken does it once in a while too. Mostly they know not to engage with you riff raff. But but if you write things, they, they some of them are reading and sometimes they do respond. It's kind of cool. Yeah. We're reading too. We care. I mean, speak for yourself. I care. You played for over seven hours. Oh, Digital Dan better pray for no diamonds. Otherwise, the, the day that has not gone super well for him yet will continue. Hey, no diamonds. Well, one, but what? Yeah, it, he does have 2.3K in front of him. That's because he reloaded. He yeah. has not had any nice hands happen. He's lost a big one to Band Teacher. He sure did. Band Teacher with the only ace in the hand. This is probably just going to get wrecked. Nope. Whenever Joseph mind. is a non believer with his bottom pair here. He wow. does have backdoor straight draw. Okay. It's ambitious, it's though. Optimistic, yeah. Out of position with Dan behind him and Banteach are betting into three. Not a good opponents. card. It's probably going to go check, check. That is my expectation. Banteach is not going to... He's going to bet. 
fulfill expectations. There's not a lot of draws to protect against. It's kind of a strange time to bet. There's, there's just really the gutter. Flip one each? The four five and stuff. Uh, you choose or I choose? Maybe he just thinks he can get Sounds good. Let me mix them up. So I don't know some value out of a worse aces and nines. Right it with your wedding that one. That one. This one? Yeah. Right. Oh, that's not the card. I'll go the far close closer to Brittany. <laughs> Damn it. Seems like it's called I get that. Dang it. So Ben Teacher turned over an ace and Joseph turned over a four. So there was no way that Joseph could be ahead from Ben Teacher's perspective. Correct. That's pretty sweet. And from Joseph's perspective, <laughs> by the way. Both players knew yeah. where they were in the hand, for sure. Yeah, Band Teacher really needed to turn over that eight to have a chance there. But he, I guess he was pretty sure Joseph was folding at that point. It was sort of a free roll to, to do Yeah. That. So that's fair. Also, Band Teacher's the kind of guy who's just up for that kind of stuff. You want to expose a card? I'll expose a card. Let's go. And yeah. Keep playing. Some guys are never going to do that, but that guy teaches band, bro. Yeah. He's got you, got a, you got some questions about the tuba? That's your dude. I'm sure his tuba knowledge is greater than Rafi's knowledge of the tuba. Yeah, I'm sure he's probably good at the uh, the trombone as well. Digital Dan with jacks after Wheels opened the ace jack off. Just a flat from Dan. Yep. Wonka's got king queen. Usually a call here. Yep. Oh, you're the hand, but cheers. Yeah. Absolutely, Will. can do that. Of course we can. Because looking around more than normal, maybe he's considering a three bet. He did just say raise. Yeah. One forty-five total. Raise one forty-five. So, so I guess Wonka's just decided he's three betting more. Yeah, and he does have blockers to big hands. Yep. It's not crazy. Wheel opens a fair amount. It's and we also jack. open pretty small. Dan could have a lot of things that are not jacks. Yeah. Dan is the kind of guy who actually can have. Really strong hands here. Dan can have aces here. He can, but I he can also have it. three five suited. That is correct. Oh, yeah, absolutely. No, I wouldn't be afraid of Dan's range right here as Wonka. I would assume I'm getting a lot of folds. And when you don't, you're getting, he has a lot of small pocket pairs. Wheel should probably fold here. This hand is not great to play post flop against yeah. a three bet. Wheel, you got to keep those time cards, man. No need to burn one there. Unless he's considering a four bet. I think suited, it, you could call. Yep, I agree. But this hand just doesn't flop very well in a three-bet pot. But he looks like he's going to make the call. Digital Dan now. He could back he could, raise or he could call. call. The problem with back raising is, you know, Wonka may play perfectly against you. You know, like all his bigger hands, he's not going to fold. And all his worst hands, he probably would. You don't really want him to respond perfectly. Like Wonka's never folding jacks, right? I guess you could back raise. You might get action from tens, but and he there does is, put in a re-raise. Yeah, that's the four bet. Well, he has the best of it. That's got it. That's gonna end this. This is just gonna get I mean, through, yeah. Yeah, there's no way Wonka can continue here, and obviously Wheel's gonna let this go as well. Dan's the guy who can show up with aces, like you said. Absolutely. I. I would assume he's never bluffing, and actually, I'm surprised Jax is even in this range. I would expect it was queens plus. Yeah. Without knowing, so I could be wrong about all my assumptions, but having played with Dan some and knowing him a bit. Well, Wonka's probably thinking about that he does block both kings and queens. He does not block aces. He does not, which is Dan's most likely hand, probably. Yeah, I think so. Now, Wonka may be sitting there thinking, since he hasn't folded yet, that Dan wouldn't play, wouldn't call from the small blind with a hand like aces. And if he blocks kings and queens, maybe he thinks he can get Dan to fold a hand like ace-king. Or he does block as well. Or but. Dan somehow has ace-five suit and is really yeah. upping his bluff game. But maybe he just doesn't believe the story. He's suspicious of the story. Nick He's certainly not just Hollywooding. No way. He would not use a time card. And there's a there's his, is that his last time card? He's already out of time cards. Wow. If it goes down to zero now, his hand is dead. Yeah. Which wouldn't be such a bad thing for him. Yeah. I mean, he didn't flip. But yeah. How would he know that? Ten seconds left to make a decision. They're so deep. Whoa! Oh, Wonka he moves in. Trick. He does not believe Dan. This might this work. This is gonna work. This has to work now. Wheel's gonna pretend to think about it. We know he's gone. There's no way Dan's gonna call off here, right? Wonka's only shown strength. Wheel. Wheel, what you doing, man? Let it go. He's got 30 seconds before they force him to fold, and he's going to use all <laughs> 30 of them. Here's Dan. 
this was a friendly game. It's still He's noticed Wonka 3-betting a lot, I guess, but this is an extreme version this of a 3-bet. This is a 5-bet. Yeah. From the big blind against I don't know if we've ever seen range. a 5-bet with this weak of a hand on Poker Time before. I don't know either. It's been a long time. If It's been years if we have, I think. Oh, and he oh! calls! And Wonka is in a miracle spot. He's got 50%. He... Must be thrilled to have 50%. Yeah. And this is a massive pot. This wow. really didn't have to happen. Nope. Good flop for the digital one. Oh, oh king. And now he's got one out, and that and Wonka gets there. Look at Dan. Oof. That is painful. Oh, man. That really sucks for Dan. But on the flop, he would have been really good shape. Yeah. I would have been, would have been excited, excited, and then I would have been all A one outer or a runner runner. Yeah, yeah. He won the big pot. Wow. I'm typically a fan of Wonka's game, but I'm not entirely sure what he was thinking there. I mean, I guess he just didn't believe Dan's story at all. Right, That's but if the you're only gonna possible. Go, if you're going to go based on player profile, Dan is maybe the last guy you want to do that against if you know anything about him. Because as we were saying throughout the hand, he's the guy who could have aces there. We've seen him slow play big pairs constantly on the, poker time. The only other guy who will do that a lot is Joseph. Who yeah. will call like will slow play a big pair and then right. put in a lot of money. There, but. there are some guys you can put comfortably on like eights, nines, and tens there because that's the only hand they play that way. They would have three bet all of the bigger right. hands, but Dan, Dan. Is, Dan is not that guy. And look see, at the session Wonka's having now. Yeah, and you, you see Dan is not there because uh, he's felt it. When he comes back in, it'll be there, but it's bad. Yeah. It's real, real bad. It's probably down like 4K already. Something like that. Maybe that's maybe maybe three and a half, whatever it is. Wow, that was an incredible hand. Yeah, as you said, like it just didn't have to go that way. Neither player had to put in the four and five bets there. Dan didn't have to call it off. Wonka really didn't have to shove. Nope, against Dan. I agree. And here's kings for Joseph. Let's see if Wonka shoves queen jack against him and gets there. Wonka has a three betting hand. And it's <laughs> he against the cutoff and it's effectively against the button. He's going to call, though, and not put in the raise, I think, because he just had his king-queen exposed. That seems fair. He'd be concerned that Joseph's just going to play back at him, which he probably would. And, and Wonka flops best. Yeah, look at look at that. Look at this special guy flopping all his flops. That, was, that would have been a good little speech. That would have been quite like, extraordinary. Like, what are you guys doing? Uh, Joseph is going to continue with the kings. Surely Wonka is going to just call here. I say surely. I was surprised what he did last time with the king-queen. but I mean, he's going to call. <laughs> And he does. Timmer gets out. Wouldn't surprise me if uh, Joseph just checked. This may just go check, check all the way. Well, now. it is a diamond. Joseph now has... Oh, it's not a diamond. Well, no, it, it is, is a diamond. It is. It That's just, a mistake. It, okay. Weird. The nine of clubs is up there. We don't know why. That's a software mistake, clearly. Yeah. So four of diamonds. Joseph now has the nut flush draw. He does. <laughs> he could continue because a diamond would sort of kill any action. Not crazy to continue with the nut flush draw here. Nope. It, the thing that makes it a little weird, though, is are you hoping for a fold or a call if you're Joseph? I guess both are okay. Yeah. Well, he got the call. He's obviously not going to put any more money in. Now he will. Yep. Now Joseph has the nut flush. Not the nuts, but the nut flush. Yeah, not the straight flush. Despite what it says on the board, what we yeah, got Wonka here is, is not the winner. four diamonds. This is a pretty simple check fold spot for Wonka, I would think. I believe Wonk has already checked based on how these guys look. Yeah, the way Joseph's now looking down, that's how he used. He's making well, Joseph a, made a really interesting face. Fake like, little I don't know wince. what to do, yeah. A little acting there. Whoa, he bet huge. Goes really big. Almost trying, pot. Trying to polarize his range. That is... Like, I know you can be bluffing me here, and you might be. <laughs> All sorts of craziness going, but he bets, it looks like he bet 425 or 525 into a pot of... I don't know how much. It's more than 215. It was 495, I think. Okay, so And Wonka does let it go. Out there, Seems like a reasonable fold. And that was the board. Yep. For posterity. Because everybody wants to remember that board. I mean, posterity doesn't mean people have to want to remember it. It just is. It's posterior. Yeah, it's the back, it's back end. Yeah, that's 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 how you say it clinically. Like if you're a doctor. Yeah. If you're in a hospital, you wouldn't say pos posterior. You'd say butt. 
Sir, you have butt problems. Yeah. Nice hand for band teacher. Beautiful hand. Magnificent. <coughs> Still can't get over the size of that five thousand dollar pot that Wonka and Digital Dan, two of the tighter players at the table, played. I know, me too. That was pretty shocking. Some more time cards than I saw got, used. got some real hands here. Yep, Ken could have squeezed there, but it's understandable not to when Band Teacher opens under the gun. Great flop for Ken. Not bad for Band Teacher either. Yeah. Open ender with a pair, Ken with a double gutter, with including one to the nuts. Oh. And overs also for Ken, let's not forget. I thought you were in small pair land. Looks like, like Timmer's going to protect his sevens here. He does have a gut shot as well. I don't think anyone's folding. Nope. Ken could raise. Bandit yep. could raise. They could both raise, but they both call. It's pretty understandable why they would both call, though. Yeah, Timmer could have two pair in hands like that. Absolutely. And oh, best out. hand is band teachers <laughs> with the eight. Probably going to just check through here. Let's see. Yep. Ken doesn't even give it a second thought, and Band Teacher's going to take down a reasonable little mid-sized pot. There we go. A little mid-sized economy car of a pot. Ford Focus. Not so bad. You flop bottom pair three ways and get to win. Especially when money goes in on the trick. Uh-oh, wheels drinking more. What's going to happen? <laughs> All right, by the end of, not this episode, but this session, so three episodes from now, how many how many clothes will we be wearing? That's a great question. I say he will be wearing his socks. It's possible he'll be wearing more clothes. Well, okay. that's. I didn't say how few, just he'll how many. He'll be wearing one of those really warm hats that people in Alaska wear with the ear flaps and mm -hmm. all that stuff. I hate those. Uh, Why do you hate those? He can wear those in socks and nothing else. Are really, that's what you're saying? Those are warm. Also, don't you love Fargo? They look they, weird. They wear though. those in Fargo. They look so weird. So wheel wearing socks and one of those those Alaska hats. You're always so cold, though. You would I enjoy am. that hat. It doesn't matter. It would feel good on your head. Timber with a seven of hearts. It's a great way to change the subject. Just trying to talk to, about the hand. trying to win a hand finally. Timber's been a little dry as far as winning. A little dry. A little dry, like the desert. Yeah, he's got, he's a, got good a great chance. chance. To win this one. Great chance. Turned down to 675 already. Just been bleeding chips quietly. Started with the minimum buy-in of 1,000, yeah. so it's not, know, not as bad as if somebody who bought in for 2,400 was there, obviously. But, you know, he's sort of just, like, never really just, like, looking around, chewing a little gum, and he's down 300 bucks, you know? Yeah. It's better than Digital Dan, who's down, what, like, 3,000 bucks. Yeah, Digital Dan's having a worse time than Timmer. Currently. Currently. Although we don't know their emotional states. We don't. Dan could be just giddy with joy. Yeah, yeah. Timmer might be murderous with rage. <laughs> Digital Dan's like, season three of Young Sheldon's coming out soon. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> it is season three, actually, isn't it? Is, I don't know. I don't know. It might be season two. Could be four. What a delightful show. <laughs> <laughs> the, it's, a, it's a child. <laughs> He's a precocious child. A version of a character from a different show. Hey, it's popular. It's making money. More people watch that than watch this, I'll tell you. Eh. Debatable. What do you count as a person? I'm saying you stayed alive. didn't knock me out. Rafi took off some clothes. Maybe you were wrong in your target of people to take clothes off. Maybe I wasn't wrong. So far you are. Top and bottom for wheel. Yeah, Joseph with two back doors, but it's not a super exciting flop for the ace seven of hearts. You'd expect him to uh, to bet on this king high board, though. Yeah, this is his board. Especially with the two back doors. We'll take a little time before checking there. Do you think that's a tell? I know. He doesn't always do that. Oh, it might be. Very Wait, encores last time? To him. Oh, to Rob. I was going to say. You dealt with him. There is a raise. And that's going to end this hand pretty much right away. 125, 85 to call I for I mean, Joseph. it's kind of nice to have the two back doors. And Joseph, it is a wet board. Joseph could decide to put wheel on a flush draw or an open ender. Yeah, he could call in position and see if he improves the turn. He does block the open enders. He does. But he doesn't block diamonds. He's going to call. There are cards he's going to like. Yep. That's not one of that's them. A, that's of course, wheel one. hates that card. Yep, that's a disaster card for king five. Wheel's He's gonna bet it anyway. It looks like I don't know if that's. A, oh no, he checks. No. Okay, that makes sense. Joseph has plenty of better kings in his range that are now beating King you Five. See, Wheel picked up chips though to try and dissuade a bet. Yeah, from it's a Joseph. classic, classic move. Ten of hearts on the river shouldn't scare anyone. Wheel bets yeah. as a blocker. This is definitely a blocker bet. Joseph sometimes will pounce on these. I would like to see what would happen if he raced. 
But you just call. Call with. Oh, it's time. fifty. He bet fifty. Uh, no, I think it was seventy-five. Yeah, actually, you can see three chips in there. It's seventy-five. He calls with the ace high because he puts wheel on a diamond draw. But I don't think wheel is betting that size with Miss Diamonds. I think he's going to size it up more if he's going to bluff. It doesn't really make sense to bet that size with Miss Diamonds because you want your opponent to have Miss Diamonds, and if yeah. you have diamonds in your hand, you block that. You generally would want to bet a lot bigger, and most times people will. Most. Times. So I think Joseph just got kind of seduced by the price there. Yeah. Stack, I'm curious, kind of a call, destroyed. but probably the better play is razor fold. <laughs> yep. Despite the uh, the feeling of having showdown value with ace high against that size and then, but against the, yeah, wheel, and the math is just demanding you call. And yeah. I, I understand the feel of like, well, I'm just gonna do it even though this sucks, but. Two five, which is two to one. One is five five, which is five to fifteen. Whoa, yeah, the five five. Yeah. That's weird. Joseph was spouting out a bunch of numbers there. Yeah, he was. Sounds like impressive. A, sounds like a smart guy. But I guess you could just say a bunch of numbers and be like, Yeah, the, I got the ten twelve on the eleven three. Do you have the eleven three? Seventeen times four is a number, also. Yeah, it is. And that's that's the truth. It, I mean, it just so happens to be. Band teacher opening, I guess, a hundred percent on the button when folded to him. Do you ever see that uh, show on Amazon, Jack Ryan, with uh, Jim from The Office? I saw parts of it, and I just couldn't couldn't do it. Rafi looks a little bit like him, just a little bit right now with those sideburns. That is a great compliment to Rafi. I guess it is. Everybody thinks that guy's hot. Yeah, at least back in the day they did yeah. on The Office. Yeah. <laughs> but they probably still do. I don't know. He's just um, not pulling off the badass thing. No, you know, I'm not. Neither is Rafi, <laughs> <laughs> to be clear. You haven't seen Rafi try. You know, Rafi is toning it down, make everybody feel safe. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to get into this whole conversation. Okay, great. Let's but <laughs> Dan with an exquisite suited connector. Who, if we, if these guys all had to do a round robin like fight off, who would lose the round robin? Who would be who would lose? Last, who would be in last place? <laughs> I definitely don't want to get into that. Hank's not here, so we don't know who would oh, win. Uh, Hank, yeah, Hank. Hank would obviously have won. But. Anyway, here we are. Joseph against Digital Dan. Diamonds, Diamonds are forever, perhaps, for Digital Dan. I don't know if that really applies, but <laughs> Joseph with bottom pair. And forever is a lie. Diamonds do eventually degrade due to entropy. It just takes longer than other things. Okay? They all lie to you. <laughs> Digital Dan. One thing he isn't doing is folding. <laughs> you really said that like it mattered. <laughs> Thanks, man. The king is a pretty good card for Joseph. I makes mean, it less likely that Dan has a king. Dan opened under the, or played. He didn't open it, but he he. Is it or is it not a good card for Joseph? It's an okay card for Joseph. That's a hundred. I like the sizing actually a lot here. He's trying to get a ten to fold. I think. Fold out a ten. Get the draws either out of there or charge them. Yeah. The Pro problem with Joseph is the draws, if they decide not to fold, because Dan has position, and Dan does call. I don't know about that. Dan's yeah, kind that, of in no man's land with his hand here. I agree. Dan's gonna, Dan should bluff if Joseph checks here. Joseph might check. Queen Jack just got there, by the way. I think Joseph should be giving up. He does. He only beats diamonds now. Which Dan happens to have. Dan has to bluff this. You can't call the turn, have Joseph check this card, and... And not take a shot. Joseph doesn't have that many kings. He was almost always going to bet queen jack also. Oh, and Dan, oh, Dan checks it back. Shot. Oh, that's... I don't think Joseph was calling that one. I had a number in mind, but I was going back and forth, and I was like, no, I think I'm going to fold. I'm not going to give him. Just for the lulls? Just to get the coyote. That jumble of words is a little bit less impressive than all those numbers <laughs> Joseph Dan's, was saying. Dan's really thinking about. Yeah. I guess I, oh, I, I could have bet that. I guess I could have stolen that one. It's especially tough when you don't even have ace high. You don't have showdown value. You're like, I'm actually just giving up and... Like giving right. this pot away 100 percent of the time. For sure, a real you know what I mean? sure wasn't like a designer dog or something. I mean, I guess from Dan's point of view, he's thinking is if Joseph's going to call me with a ten, I shouldn't bet, right? Yeah, I blocked diamonds. Queen Jack got there. He's going to call with trip kings. I think if you bluff, it might be like a pot size or bigger. Yeah, it's got to be big. Yeah, you, yeah, you got to be repping at least trip kings. Yeah. Band teacher folds that hand, which what? is a bit of a surprise. Super weird. Rafi with the ace four off. Highest this is, player in Portland. I mean, this is a pretty clear three bet when the cutoff yeah. opens. And he does. 
And Wheel's probably supposed to call. King Jack is a little too good to fold in these positions. He could decide to throw it away just because it's unsuited. He's out of position. Yeah, but you got to call with some stuff. You do. I guess you could four bet as well. <laughs> if he thinks Rafi is not three betting very much, I think he should fold. If he thinks Rafi's three betting a lot, he should not fold. You know? I think Rafi is maybe a little tight, but he's also very capable and understands ranges. Oh, yeah. That's the type of player that you can't really go folding this cutoff to button against when you're deep, relatively deep. This is a trouble hand, though. I don't, I don't hate this fold if he indeed folds it. I think it's I think it's not the end of the world. Mm. Yeah, I, it's okay I, to be a little nitty here. You only put in like twenty five dollars. So like, I I dislike the fold. I'm not a big fan of the fold. But you don't like anything, in fairness. You hate it. You hate everything. I don't know why you would say that. I like suited connectors. Uh, I think suited connectors are beautiful. Do you think they're beautiful? But do you like them or do you? No, hate them? they're an object for me to enjoy. See? Yeah, so you hate them. Yeah, let's, let's I uh, I'm gonna give, let's just do a quick pop quiz. All right, like or hate? You ready? Yeah. Ice cream. Hate. <laughs> uh, Panama. Hate. Uh, baseball hats. Hate. All right, one last one. Shoelaces. Love. I didn't see the Detroit really? Packers. Yeah. Hmm. So versatile. They go like this. So versatile. Yeah. <laughs> shoelaces are, or you are. Well, I am with shoelaces. <laughs> Put me in the jungle with shoelaces. I'll come out of there with a mansion. Anyway, Rafi's got Ace Jack. It's a super weird thing to say. Digital Dan is, I think, officially lost his mind. And Wonka's uh, got the Jacks this time. That's not really available either, though, Ken. I would expect Wonka to put in a three bet here, even against the guy he has proclaimed as the tightest player. I uh, Jax is still a pretty damn good hand. He knows Ravi's going to open a fair amount here, and Wonka is indeed reaching for the high value chips. Yeah. It's probably going to end this. Yeah, the same situation that Wheel was in against Wonka earlier when Wonka three bet. Ace Jack off just does not play well post flop in this situation. This is better in a lot of ways in that Rafi would at least would be in position against the three bet. But so would have so fold. so would have wheel. No, it was you know it was cut off to a button. No no no, walk up three bet out of the big button with King Queen. It was the major hand. We're talking about different things. <laughs> I was talking about the Ace Jack off hand, obviously. Anyway, this is the end okay. of this episode of Poker Time. We'll see you guys next week for more of this session. I haven't heard